How's it going? Welcome back to another Summoner's Creed video. I'd like to talk a little bit today regarding the whole questions of budget IQT farming, right? I've been receiving uh, many requests to show off or discuss the different sort of budget farming IQT setups that are accessible post JR hard without access to Zeus or Raw, without access to important specials like Hellhounds. And I think that, you know, there are setups out there that are able to serve this purpose, right? The one that I'm showcasing here is pretty garbage for this role. However, better setups that like split the buffers, utilize Felina, Slime King, the Yellow Archangel a little bit better. You know, there are setups out there that could work for budget farming IQT, but I think the entire idea of having post Jera hard, not having access to the important mythics or units that you need to farm for, and immediately jumping to IQT is a pretty poor decision to progress efficiently in the game, right? Because when you think about the rewards you can get from farming IQT or from budget farming IQT, the only real good evolution that can have an impact on the game while you're still not completely finished with the classic levels yet is going to be Arc Archimedes, right? Arc Archimedes could be a, like, I guess, I guess you could say that post evolution and post upgrades, she could be a good clear for nightmare levels. But at that point, you might as well just go with Mr. Flamey or a CMG option because 40 million gold plus the IQT farming, not going to be worth it, right? All the other units are really not going to be that great as evolutions. I understand Soul Sidon can find a purpose in Volcano Goddess. However, that purpose is pretty insignificant and Soul Sidon is still pretty bad at doing nightmare clears. And then, you know, again, going back to Archimedes, she can also be a good uh, unit that can speed up classical farming. However, her role in that is also pretty insignificant compared to stuff like Clyde Flamey, compared to stuff like Jiraiya, compared to stuff like speed buffs in Horus. And all the other ice evolutions really are pretty insignificant. They're pretty much effectively just reskinned monsters with uh, pretty insignificant buffs, right? So they're not really going to be that great either. So when you are looking to farm IQT directly after JR Hard, the other options that you're presented with are going to be getting your nightmare completes, getting more red gems to try and obtain the important mythics that you need to obtain. And this can be pretty important considering that getting efficient IQT clears to actually farm up to the units that you want to get is made significantly easier when you do have access to the important mythics, right? When you do have access to the important specials like preparing for Hellhound farming, committed to Hellhound farming post Jera Hard, uh, even stuff like upgrading units to be able to play an Evil Summoner, finish Evil Summoner more complete, more uh, consistently while utilizing auto. And so there's just so many better options in trying to chase the Arc Archimedes and the minimum benefits that she provides while going for a budget farming IQ setup. And you need to understand that uh, even with the best setups out there, again, uh, very inconsistent because Wave 3 Ice Spirits will really sort of ruin your runs without the presence of Raw. And having access to those stronger IQT setups will require a bunch of gold to upgrade units, uh, such as Archangel Amal anyways, right? So you could just spend that gold on units to uh, complete Nightmare levels, and in that case, you'd be getting a lot more value because you're getting Red Gems. You get Red Gems, what does that mean? That means you get uh, better Mythics, right? can work towards finishing your mythics and getting overall better setups. I understand that the value of red gems is a little bit uh, negated with the presence of rerolls. However, I think it's still an important consideration to try and go after them. You know, maybe you don't want to spend a super long time rerolling. And, you know, regardless, again, Arc Archimedes just doesn't really bring that much of a uh, buff to your game to really justify going for her, especially with how bad many of the IQT subs will be. Even something like upgrading for Evil Summoner uh, would be quite a bit better because in that case you're working up to being able to efficiently farm those power stones those power stones that are important for getting units to level 500 so again you can get better iqt completes in general the actual like sort of process in getting your nice iqt completes uh the preparation i would say is most of the time taken the actual time it took me for, to get all the evolution gems i needed for all the ice evolutions was like a day of farming with an auto clicker so it really wasn't that much after you uh, do all the necessary preparation to get a good setup going for a uh, nice and efficient farming so i would say overall there's just a lot more better options to focus on post jr hard uh, even if you have all the nightmare mythics or all the mythics uh, that you need and you don't need to complete the nightmare levels for the red gems uh going for gold upgrades on other units is a little bit better to farm for evil summoner than to go for iqt completes uh there's just many better options than chasing the Arc Archimedes, which will bring pretty minimal benefit regardless, right? Especially if you don't have access to Mythics, and it's a very important rotation, such as Japanese Mythics, where stuff like Jiraiya and Amaterasu is present, definitely go for the uh, Red Gems over the IQT, because those Mythics will help you a lot more in the long run than a Arc Archimedes, which is also somewhat, I guess, accessible anytime, considering that the Mythics and Specials are on a time-locked rotation, whereas IQT is a level that is always available. So 
I hope this helped. Again, the setup I'm showcasing here is pretty garbage for uh, IQT farming. There's definitely way better setups out there, so this is kind of a bad example on my part. However, I hope this video somewhat helped to help you understand uh, the reason you don't go for this super early uh, IQT farming. And yeah, like, subscribe, and uh, see ya.